Okay, so the last bit of this video we're going to, or the last little topic we're going to do is taking logarithms of both sides. Now, when approximate solution of an index equation is required, it is often better to take logs of base 10 of both sides. So effectively, we're going to be applying logs on both sides of the equation like we would do with anything else. Like if we were to subtract one from both sides to remove a one or whatever. Doing this is particularly useful for when powers with different bases are involved. So if we have powers of different, or sorry, if we have bases, uh, powers with different bases, then it's not always going to be as straightforward to just change it into an index form and solve it that way. Okay, so we'll have a look at this and see how it goes. So here's our two equations. So we've got solve these equations correct to four significant figures by taking logarithms base 10 of both sides. So we'll start with question eight. Now it is 3 to the power of 5x, and that is equal to 7 times 3 to the power of x minus 1. So what we're going to do is to get the exponent down is we're going to take log of base 10 of both sides. So it is log 10 of 3 to the 5x is equal to um, log 10 of 7 times 3 to the x minus 1. So just like, you know, when we do trig and stuff, Okay, so this is just like a little aside, you know, if we have um, 10 theta is equal to like 5 on 2 as something, and we know that if we can take the 10 inverse of both sides, like that is just a function that we do, like we do the 10 inverse to both sides, and we apply that function to both sides of the equation, which, you know, leaves us with theta on this side, and then whatever that is on that side, okay? That's something we can do. And it's something we can do with all types of functions, not just trigonometric functions. So we can do it with log functions as well. Now by doing this, we can apply some log laws. So the first one we've got is a power log law. So the 5x comes down the front, okay, so that power. And we're left with um, log 10 of, or log base 10 of 3. Okay, now with this one we've got, I'm going to just split it up a bit further. Okay, so we've got the power of a power, so it's log base 10 of 7 plus log base 10 of 3 to the x minus 1, like that, okay? So continuing on, I'm left with, wow, well, I don't know why I did that. Okay, continuing on, we've got 5x log base 10 of 3 is equal to. Now this log 10 of 7 is just a number, so we can leave that, but we can do our power rule and bring the x minus 1 in front of the log 10, 3 here. Okay. So now once we have done this, once we have done this, we can start rearranging for our values of, or well, what I'm gonna do first is I'm actually going to expand the um, brackets on the right. Okay, so you can skip this step if you see it, and Siri is listening to me again, stop listening Siri. Okay, um, you can skip this step if you do see it, but to show you guys, this is going to be x log 10 of 3 minus 1 log 10 of 3. Okay. So what you should notice is that we have this x log 10 of 3 here and 5x log 10 of 3. This is basically, remember that log 10 of 3 is just a number. So this is saying like I've got 5 log 10 3 of x's and I've got, you know, one of them over here. Well, I can just subtract log 10, oh, sorry, x log 10 of 3 from both sides, okay, and that's going to leave us with 4x log 10 of 3 on the left, and on the right it's going to leave us with log 10, 7 minus log 10, 3, okay, just like that. Now with that we can divide both sides by 4, uh, 4 log 10, 3, okay, so just dividing by 4 log 10, 3, remember the x you know, can be put on the other side of that. So divide this side as well. Whoops, see daisies. I'm gonna get four log 10 of three on this side too. So dividing both sides by that, we get uh, x left on the left-hand side and on the right, we have log 10, seven minus log 10 of three over four log 10 of three. And now, because we're asked for an approximation, Okay, we're going to put this into our calculator, so looking up at the screen, or sorry, at the calculator, 
we've got, I'm going to start with a fraction. Now this is already in log uh, 10, as we know calculators do that. Put the three in. Okay, so remember the calculator on the log is already doing the base for us, the base 10. Log of uh, three for the bottom and we equals and we get it's about 0 0.193. Okay, so that is our answer for that one there. Okay, so it's quite a bit of working out just for the one. Um, you know, it can get quite tricky, but that is the answer for that one. Okay, let's have a look at part B now. In part B, I'm gonna move a bit to the side for this one. Now part B, we've got five to the power of three X is equal to three to the power of X plus one. So again, I'm gonna start off by taking logs tens of both sides. So I'm gonna go log 10 of 5 to the 3x is equal to log 10 of 3 to the x plus 1. Now remember, if the bases were the same, um, we would just do 3x is equal to x plus 1 and solve it that way, but we do this because the bases of these exponentials are not the same. The bases of these indices, the base of these indices is not the same. So by doing this, okay, we can use our power rule for logs and move the 3x out the front. Leaves us with log 10, 5 on there, or there, I should say, x plus 1 left over here, and then the log of 10, base 10 of 3. Now, continuing on, okay, I'm going to expand that right hand side. So the left hand side is going to stay untouched for a moment, but the right hand side is going to become x log 10 of 3 plus log 10 of 3. Okay, and remembering that I've got the 3x log 10 of 5 minus um, the, oh, hang on. Ah, yep, yeah, of course. Um, and then the x log 10 of three. So what I'm gonna do is, is I wanna get all the x's onto one side. So I'm gonna subtract both sides by x log 10 of three and minus x log 10 of th uh, three from that side as well. Now, we can't subtract this one directly because um, the, the numbers inside the log are different. Log 10.5 is different to log 10.3. So I can't subtract them from each other. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to leave it as 3x, and I'll put a line there, 3x log 10.5 minus x log 10.3. I'm gonna make that equal to log 10 of three on the right. So what we're going to do instead is we're actually gonna factorize x out of both sides. So I'm gonna take the x out and that's going to leave us with 3 log 10 of 5 minus log 10 of 3. Okay, so by taking the common x out to both, that's going to give us that that is equal to log 10 of 3, log base 10 of 3. Okay, and then I can divide both sides by 3 log 10 of 5 minus log 10 of 3. So it's going to leave us with x on the left, and on the right we're going to have log 10 of 3 on top over, and it's going to be probably need a bit more than that, 3 log 10 of 5 minus log 10 of 3 on the right, okay? And again, because it's an approximation that we're trying to find, okay, we're going to stick this one into a calculator. So let's do it. We're going to go on top. So remember the calculator is already in base 10. So log of base 10, 3 is equal to 3 log of 5 minus log of three, okay? It equals, and we get X is approximately equal to 0 0.2946. And that's to four significant figures. Okay, so with that being said, oops, sorry, 0 0.295, if I could get my significant figures correct. There we go. So that's how we do that one. So it's a little bit of factorizing involved in that one, but that's pretty much how we um, solve these, you know, these disgusting looking equations or um, e exponential equations when the bases are different, okay? So, so all, all the ones that we've done of equations like this, we've dealt when the, um, the equations themselves have the same base, okay? This is for when the base is a, well, the same in part A, but different in part B.